Well, it is Shakespeare like you have never seen before. The final touches are now being put on a full-scale playhouse in the National Building Museum for a run of a Midsummer Night's Dream. Tommy McFly has more in the scene. We can see you. <laughs> I promise we can see you on stage and we will talk to you. We will ask you questions. We will engage with you. Inside the National Building Museum, a Shakespearean playhouse. Everything in the space plays a role. The columns, the building museum, the playhouse, and also the audience. We are hoping that the audience engages with us, talks to us, laughs, cries, uh, dances, sings with us. Are you thinking about, too, bringing Shakespeare to new audiences? Because obviously you'll have the theater people who show up for it, but then you're also <laughs> going to have yeah. the tour buses from the Midwest who are just sort of wandering through and happen on it. Is that exciting for you? It is. There is always someone who it's, they, they, it's their first time coming to a play. Um, they've never seen one or it's their first time seeing a Shakespeare play. It's a fun way to, uh, to engage them into the language without being uh, scared of it or, or pushed away or, or told that they aren't going to be able to understand it. What makes you want to do Shakespeare? It's shifted now. When I, when I first started, it was because people told me I couldn't. Uh, and there was a, um, an energy that I had of, oh, I have to prove people wrong. Um, that sort of rebellious streak. But as I got older, I realized, oh, I'm not, I'm not doing it for them. I am doing it for the kids in the audience, especially kids who look like me, who say, I haven't seen a Shakespeare play, or I have been told I'm not supposed to touch this. I'm not supposed to engage with this. Um, so I, I, I do it for them. I do it for uh, my ancestors who were not able to, to be on stage or were told that they couldn't say these words. I can't leave it alone now. <laughs> I can't put it down. <laughs> See Rania Brown and Folger Theater's performances of A Midsummer Night's Dream through August 28th. These stories are universal and they belong to everyone. These words belong in everyone's mouth. So maybe what you expect, uh, who you expect to see on stage may be different. And that's okay. The story is still going to be the same. With the scene, Tommy McFly, News 4.